with QA complete, each test case in the library is version controlled. Any changes to a test case in the test library will result in the version identifier for the test case being automatically incremented. Where test cases are grouped into test sets for execution, each test case linked in the test set links to the latest version of the test case in the library. So here we see five test cases and each of the latest versions of those test cases are contained within the test set. When we execute the test set, the latest versions of those test cases are picked out of the library for execution against a release and a configuration. So essentially at runtime, QA Complete is taking a copy of the latest versions of the test cases, which means two things. Firstly, the tests in the library can be updated without impacting the test runs. So if we update this test case now, this will not have any impact on existing test runs. This is important because if we were to update tests in the test run, then it would invalidate test results. Secondly, it means that we can update tests in the test run without impacting tests that are already in the library. Having said that, with QA Complete there is the capability to propagate any changes back to the test library if you need to. So in this particular example, if we view the same test set again, and we can see those five test cases with the various versions on them, we've already run this once with version 3, 3, 1, 1, and 3 of those test cases, and those test results in the last run were passed. If we click through and update this test case again, and save this, we'll see that the test case in the library, the version is incremented and now the test set is using the latest version 4 of the test case as well. So this time when we run the test set, QA Complete will be using the latest version version 4 of the first test in the test set. should point out that QA Complete has no concept of a baseline or check-in, check-out capability as in some other tools but there is the capability to implement a review process at both the test case and the test set level where you can set up workflow and status values to cover approval and rejection of test cases. <laughs>